We have our Wetzel's pretzel and our homemade version that's low carb and also grain free and gluten free. All right guys, so I'm super excited about making homemade pretzels. I have all my ingredients laid out. So we have our cheese and our cream cheese. I'm just gonna put them in the same bowl. We're gonna melt them for about 15 to 20 seconds and then we're going to incorporate the other ingredients. Looks nice and melty. Let's go ahead and mix these two together before we add in our dry ingredients. So as you can see, the texture is perfect. This is the consistency you're actually looking for. I ended up microwaving this for about 35 seconds. Now, what we're gonna do is add in all of our dry ingredients into one bowl before we incorporate the wet with the dry. So we have our almond flour, it's just finely blanched almond flour. And then we have our baking powder. Let's add that in, a little pinch of salt. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and whisk this together. Okay, and we have our egg. We're just gonna add that into our wet ingredients. Mix that together. And our egg is what helps bind this entire recipe together. Now we're just combining our wet and dry ingredients. Now I'm just kneading my dough. I was doing it with the spatula, but I feel like it's gonna just turn out way better with my hand. So we're just gonna get a little dirty. And you can use your stand mixer, you can use a hand mixer. I just ended up using my hands. I feel like I just have a lot more control that way and I can feel the dough and the consistency and this is literally what we're looking for. Okay, so we're taking our pastry cutter and we are going to cut this in four equal parts. Okay, so now we're taking our dough and we're just gonna roll it into a long skinny log. So now that we have our dough formed into our long rope, what we're gonna do is make it into a U shape. So now that we have it into a U, we're gonna braid our ends, just like this. And now, once more. So now that we have the double braid, now we're just gonna fold it right over. So we clearly know that we are using almond flour. This is a gluten-free, grain-free pretzel. The texture is very, very different, but I'm telling you once it all comes together, it's gonna taste like a real pretzel, okay? Now, I'm saying all of this because you are gonna have to be a little patient. My dough did tend to break a little when I flipped it over and then I just kind of pinched it. So I just wanna let you know that you'll probably have to pinch little pieces here and there, but nothing that you can't fix and nothing that's going to detour you from making homemade pretzels, okay? So here's one. Okay, doesn't that look so cute? So I made a variety of sizes. I made a big one, medium, small, and little baby. So right now what we're gonna do is make our egg wash. We're gonna brush these on and then get them right into the oven. Now just remember, make sure that your oven is preheated to 350 degrees because you don't wanna go through all this and then still have to wait for your oven. Okay, so we have our egg, a teeny tiny splash of water, and we are just whisking this up and we're about to brush our pretzels. So after we're done brushing our pretzels, we are gonna add a little bit of flaky salt. We have the egg wash, we have them salted, now we're getting them right into the oven. So we're gonna bake these for about 15 minutes or until nice golden brown. All right guys, so I heated up a little jalapeno cheese sauce and we are gonna go in for the big one a piece because these are big all right what do you think is it gonna taste like the real deal or not because I'm obsessed with Wetzel's and always have been mm -hmm. guys I didn't have high hopes but definitely gives me pretzel vibes a hundred percent I honestly give this a 10 out of 10 the only thing I would say it's not it's like, it's not really dense. Like sometimes with pretzels, you can get like that really dense bready feeling. You don't get that. But like, if you're craving pretzels, you love pretzels, pick up the cheese sauce, 
make this recipe and you're gonna be 100% satisfied. I'm gonna leave the recipe down in the description below. If you really like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Guys, share this video with friends and family that are living a low carb lifestyle or that you just know would absolutely love to make a low carb version of a Wetzel's pretzel. Thanks so much for being here. I love you and I will see you guys on my next video. Mwah.